Hence my next shirt I'm making that's going to say, it's okay, I'm hilarious. <clears throat> you should have that in the back of this one. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it, I'm hilarious. I want to make one that says, uh, I'm, I'm really two horses in a man costume, too. <laughs> a shirt that just says something like, um, don't worry, my other shirt is actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like the one I made that said, this isn't the shirt I ordered. Yeah. I love that. I was going to make, I wanted to do one that's, uh, just says, stop reading my shirt. And I just walk around looking all angry. Stop reading my shirt. <laughs> Don't you have to read? Um, there's, I could do a bunch. Uh, oh, what was the other one I thought of? Oh, that's not important. They're dumb. Anyway. So yeah, new intro. And I have a very big announcement tonight. Oh, Okay. Well, let me in. You just want to surprise me? No, with I'll it. just surprise you. It's uh, pretty cool, maybe. though. We should just, I guess, if you're out and you're busy, you want to get going, hey? Uh, yes, I guess. Yeah, that would, that would yeah, help. Let's do it. Music, music, some kind of intro at the beginning. Hi there. Oh, shit, I don't have an intro. Happy Sunday. Oh. <laughs> it's September 6th, 2020. I'm Eric, talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where... People take their clothing really seriously in this town. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have a personality. I guess it is. That's <laughs> what happens when everyone's wearing masks and you can't see me laughing. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends. Welcome back. We had an impromptu week off that we weren't planning, but we took it and it was actually, I think, needed. So welcome back. Good to be here. Gord, how you doing? I am doing much better. I can finally walk again, so that's all nice and happy. That won't last. No, it probably won't, because I'm uh, overweight and clumsy. Gord <laughs> does things. That's his biggest downfall. If you don't do things, <laughs> you never get hurt. And I just can't seem to stop myself. It's like an addiction. I am having trouble finding a job. It's been like four days. I'm not happy about this. It's been how many months for me? So, <laughs> anybody looking to hire a fairly undermotivated, massive underachiever, send me an email. <laughs> uh, you can send emails, ladies and gentlemen, to our brand new email address. Um, I thought I would tone it down just briefly for you guys, and maybe we might actually get some mail. So... You can send us emails for the time being to mail at ericandgord.ca. <laughs> Is it M-A-L-E or M-A-I-L? No, it, it's, it's all proper. Mail at ericandgord.ca. There you go. Suck on that. It's nice and short. Maybe someone will do it. <laughs> you should send an automatic response to that. This is fuck you. Thank you for sending this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe that's why maybe Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina is just too big for people to touch. So uh, mail at ericandgord.ca. There you go. I just bought ericandgord.ca this weekend. They had a good deal on it, so I bought it. So you guys can expect a new website uh, coming up real soon. I'm actually wor already working on it. Very cool couple more things i want to give a shout out to our main man friend of the show just writer director producer all around good guy genius inspiration to all of us roger nygaard what an awesome guest to have on the show he's got two new movies out on blu-ray and vimeo and coming soon to amazon prime they're called suckers and six days in roswell you can find links to them on our website and now just so everybody knows these are updated versions from the original they are a brilliant documentary and a Brilliant, brilliant movie about car salesmen. Um, my two. I was really surprised to find out that that was uh, that movie was actually used as a training module for car salesmen. Yeah. So you know it's got a good win. That's impressive. I didn't know that. That's pretty. He's that's pretty cool. He's just a genius. I love talking to him, and I, I it doesn't surprise me that anything he touches is an instruction manual for anything because he always instructs me. Yeah. It's, it's the the only time we do an interview where I shut up for two thirds of it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, and that's it. I got to do a couple of shout outs later, but I want to tell the world. Uh, as you know, earlier this year, I became an ordained minister um, because I, I care about people. 
I'm a giver. I give. Uh, but it wasn't good enough for me. It doesn't really do much. So I've spent the last few nights cramming and working my ass off and not sleeping, as usual. And you are looking at the world's newest certified life coach. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, no. <laughs> thanks to um, my instructor, David Key, and the NLP Practitioners Group, I am officially a certified life coach. So you can uh, get all your life coaching right here. <laughs> That's that the best is thing right. Yeah, oh, it's <laughs> it is very true, and uh, I got my certificate and everything. You guys can see it. I'll post it somewhere. Oh, uh, you're looking at I. I am the also now studying uh, hypnosis. By the way, because that's a part of it that you can take um, when you're taking. L, uh, N, NLP, which I am a practitioner of NLP. That's Neuro Linguistic Programming. Um, so I they guess, literally just teach you how to what? Brainwash? Pretty much, yeah. It's incredible. Um, certified life coach. Certified brainwasher. It's amazing. I, I don't brainwash you. I use a very simple communication model to help you stop using your filters to distort and generalize the information you're receiving. Oh. Definitely sounds like a positive thing. It, it does. It's very, very positive. It sounds very positive. Um, and now I'm a master genius at it. I take it it's basically just a matter of pe saying to people, stop lying and stop being stupid. Is that pretty much no, what you're saying? No, it's the exact no, opposite. It's, it's absolutely lie, 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 and be as stupid <laughs> as possible is, I think, the base message. <laughs> um, <That's> amazing. <laughs> these people make a tremendous amount of money doing what they do. Tony Robbins. And, Jay Shetty. Uh, yeah, well, Jay Shetty, he's a, he is the motivation behind all of this, basically, because I have a friend who is, took the Jay Shetty course and, and just goes on and on about being a, a life coach. And I'm a life coach, so I blah, 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 blah. And now when I get to see her, she go, I'm a life coach? So, and I could go, yeah, bitch, so am I. <laughs> so, kind of takes away credit, doesn't it? <laughs> You're looking at a certified life coach right here. <laughs> and uh, also an ordained minister. So I will be coaching you through life via my ministry. Um, you can look forward to hearing all about that soon. I am going to coach people through this COVID thing right into flu season. <laughs> right into COVID part two. All kinds of coaching is happening. <sighs> Um, oh, very, very cool. Just got... It's, uh, it's very cool. If I actually ever make a dime at it, I will feel dirty and wrong. <laughs> and then therefore you will make a lot of money for it. Um, but it's very funny. It was, uh, I did it quite quickly. There's nine, nine courses, like nine, um, sections to the course. And then a big test at the end it cost $7, <laughs> seven bucks. <laughs> But there's one thing, there's ones that charge up to like 600. And the greatest thing about being a certified life coach is there's no one certifying you. There's no life coach society or like there's no government agency that monitors life coaching. It's all there's no certifiable accreditation. Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even really a course that you can take because like it is, but there's no real tests or anything because that's not how it works. You just kind of work with yourself as your first client. Um, and if you can end up changing your life, then therefore that gives you but, your experience. You need to talk about what it is you do. Exactly. Yeah. And you use, you build rapport through, what do you build rapport through, Gord? Oh, matching and mirroring. Hmm. I think we were just talking about that. 
Yes, we certainly were. <laughs> Gestures, facial expressions, and breathing. Uh, <laughs> it teaches you how to match the angle of your spine, your head and shoulder relationship, upper body position. Like, go through all the car salesman crap. I could go be car salesman now, yes, probably. You technically can, yeah. Um, and it's it's very manipulative. I love it. <laughs> Fucking hell. So there you go. But it's true. I I passed the course as, as everyone else has. So, um, I could forward it to you if you'd like. <laughs> you could be. Why not? Fuck I'll it. only charge. I'll you become eight. a certified. I'll only charge you eight bucks. <laughs> wow, that's an amazing deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So there you go. That's me. <laughs> oh wow! I don't even know what to say about that. I am. I'm. I'm going to go with speechless. Well, I won't be any longer because I can coach you through that. <laughs> but I have to be able yeah. to see. I can't see you right now. That's the big difference. I need to be able to see you. Yeah. It, well, it works better. I don't need to. It's just definitely better. more effective. Yeah. Um, that's that's it for my announcements, except there may be a new pen coming down the line. I know that's less exciting for those of you who haven't received your pens yet. But there may be a new one coming. With a cool, In case you didn't know, my hand is up. <laughs> with a cool stylus. Hey, talk to Canada Post, man. <laughs> I can coach a lot of people. I can't coach them and they deliver in the mail on time. No, no, I guess he certainly cannot. <laughs> you know why? COVID. COVID. That's right. <laughs> I, should get a t- I should make a t-shirt that says, because COVID. <laughs> you know what, though? I, that you, I bet you if you wore that around, people would laugh their asses off at that. That might be my next one. I don't know. I still got one blank t-shirt to work on. I think that I think that's your winner. That could be tonight. And anybody wants a authentic Eric and Gord t-shirt, send us an email. Mail at ericandgord.ca. I hate saying that. Um, any of the t-shirts I wear or any of the t-shirts I make or you want some Eric and Gord t-shirts or hoodies or whatever you want, I can have them delivered within five days at a very, very reasonable price. Actually, much, much cheaper than they used to be. Uh, only three, four colors available right now. Just red, uh, white, black, and gray. But uh, any of the shirts you enjoy me wearing or any Eric and Gord logo you want on a shirt or whatnot, send me an email. Tell me what you want. We will talk about it. There we go. That's it for ads and boring stuff. Let's do a podcast, man. <clears throat> Woohoo! <laughs> um, so, keeping in the spirit of how we've been doing our show as of late, which I personally have been quite enjoying, um, as for random facts, I think I've got myself a few decent little ones here. Um, first one, interesting fact, if you never actually thought about it, but it makes perfect sense. Uh, do you know that there are more cars in Los Angeles than there are people? No. Yep. That is a true fact. There are actually more cars, which, and again, it's California, so that makes pretty much perfect sense. They have, like, a different car for every day of the bloody week down there, so. They do a lot of driving. They do a lot of driving. You can tell by their highways are constantly jam-packed and never moving. That's just stupid people driving. That's, that's right. That's nothing to do with the number of cars. That's four guys every morning make the same fuck up. <laughs> yeah, fucking everything off for the rest of us. Uh, now, this is something I didn't know. They're better, that? Go ahead. They're, they're better there than in BC where everyone does the amazing pull up to the corner and then look right and turn left or vice versa. Love it. Yeah. Love the attention to pedestrians in this fucking province. It's the only place I've ever seen that happen where it's actually like a mandated move. You have to do it. You have to look the opposite direction of whichever way you're turning. <laughs> you have to because there's just so many stupid people on the roads. <laughs> oh, God, I got following a whole bunch of earlier tonight. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, you know bubble wrap? I am familiar. All right. Uh, well, the well, fact that people don't know about bubble wrap, but bubble wrap was originally created as a wallpaper. Makes sense. 
Fancy. Does it though? Because it's I mean it's fancy. It's it's space age. If I'm assuming it came out in the seventies, a 